Hi, welcome to Smart Home Sunday. I'm going to do a little tinkering today to show you how you can get this information out of your Philips Hue system. So normally on a Sunday, I tinker with Home Assistant and back earlier this year in March, I did a video about Home Assistant and how you can set up some Philips Hue scenes. It seems to have been quite helpful. But then I got a question just yesterday and I thought I'll do a short tutorial video today to try and answer it. So it was about this idea of someone in Home Assistant wanting to import the scenes from the Hue Bridge and then they could use them for a variety of different lights. So if you've got uh, your Home Assistant controlling multiple different brands of lights, maybe not the Philips Hue system or through the hub, then you might want to know what kind of color values are used for certain scenes in your Philips Hue setup. For example, you could get your little Philips Hue app out and you could set up some colors and brightness values that just feel and look good. Then you might want to know what they are. That's one thing the app doesn't really do for you. It doesn't give you a technical view, right? There's a hint. Philips, why don't you just give us a button, you know, technical details for geeks. You just press a button and it would tell you what the color value is. And maybe I need to send that uh, feedback in directly. But today I want to show you how you can get the details, brightness, color value from your Philips Hue hub. So the first thing I'm going to recommend you do is you definitely need to go and get yourself set up with a Philips Hue developer account. So you just go and register yourself in here and that'll give you access to lots of information about the API. The next thing you're going to do, I'm assuming you've got a Philips Hue hub. And if you have a Philips Hue hub, you can go to uh, your Philips Hue hub IP address. So you're going to have to find the IP address. And then you just ping in a browser that IP with this forward slash debug forward slash clip dot HTML. Then you'll end up here. Now, you're going to go through a couple of steps of creating a new user. And there's some good details on how to do that in this uh, developer Philips Hue developer website and it'll show you get started shows you how to create a user so you can access your hub and then you can start pulling out all sorts of information so you'll end up with a username here's a nice long string that is my particular username don't use that one that one won't work for you if you happen to be on my network connected to my hub then it would work I'll change it after this video <laughs> just in case. But so here you can see my URL, the IP, it's the same one that I'm using for this little clip tool. And uh, you just need to put in this, this, this logic. So slash API slash the username slash scenes. Now with this in place, you can just click get. Now what you're going to get here, it's a lot easier to take this into say notepad plus plus and have a look. So you can see, for example, you could then just search for a uh, name of a scene. So there is a default scene called read. And he, this ID, this string here is the ID for it. So you want to know that because I want to know the specifics of what are the settings for read. OK, so I jump back to this little tool. Now what I do in the end here, I'm going to put a, not a forward slash. Then I'm going to paste in that ID. I'm going to click get. Now what I have is, I'll go back to Notepad++. Now I have information on what that scene is going to do. And you'll see it's the same for all of these different lights. So this is just a different light number. And you can see it's the same for each one. So what it's doing is it's saying, okay, put the light on, change the brightness to 254 and the CT value to 346. What is the CT value? Well, again, you're wanting to go back to the Philips Hue developer documentation. And in here, you're going to see information that tells you what is the CT. So if I just uh, have a look down the list here, and there you go, you can find it here. So the CT is the my red color temperature of the light. And that number is going to be somewhere between 153 to 500. Now, the Philips Hue uh, bulbs, they can operate with a few different uh, light methods. So you can, for example, use this CT value. And you can also tell the light to operate in XY mode, which means then you would throw it an XY coordinate 
which refers to color space. And there is also you know, information about how you can do calculations between an XY value and a CT value. There's actually quite a lot of good information on this Philips Hue developer website as well. But there you go. That's really all there is to it. If you're wanting to find out the values of a scene inside your Philips Hue bridge. Was it useful? Was this useful? Mm. The other part of the question here, of course, that was asked is, you know, if you want to import all the scenes from your Philips Hue Hub into Home Assistant, well, you can't just press a button and import them. That would be nice. But I don't know if it's really all that useful either. Yeah, it's kind of maybe not that necessary. If you're tinkering anyway, then you can do exactly what I've just shown you and you can create a scene in your Philips Hue system and then see what the details are using this little API tool. Then from there in Home Assistant, you're going to need to do things like set up those light effects and well, that we can have a look at in another video. In my particular case at home here, I'm actually using Home Assistant to just send API calls to the Philips Hue Hub. But maybe you're already subscribed and maybe you've seen all those videos I've done already. If you're new here, well, you can go back and have a look at them. I'll be doing some more of this again every Sunday. E underscore L 1997. I hope this was helpful for you.